Welcome to Sunday School. Today is lesson number three. And today we're going to talk about heaven a little bit. Like, what do you think heaven is like? I'm like, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I know it's someplace I want to go. And I hope you want to go there too. Um, because that is going to be a great place where we're going to live forever with Jesus, with God. It's going to be great. And today's story is about somebody who got to do that, um, not in the traditional way. Um, his name is Elijah, and he got to go to heaven early because he, God took him to heaven with him. So it's kind of an interesting story. And do you know what a whirlwind is? Whirlwind is? I, I was like, how do you describe it? it? It makes big circles. So the only way I could think to kind of show you is with water. And we'll see if I can get this to go right. So if I put my finger in here and I go like this, you can see that it goes in circles, right? Well, this is this is like wind that goes really, really far, around, around, around. I don't know if you've been to one of those science places that has it so that the vortex type thing goes like this. And if you have a piece of paper down here, it goes do, 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 and goes all the way up. Well, that's what a whirlwind is. And that is how Elijah went to see, went with to heaven with God. So that is pretty exciting. Woof. So, well, to kind of give you the big thing about our story, but let's do our story, okay? Um, so Elijah, we've been talking about him, and last week we talked about uh, when he made the altar to God and God sent fire, right? Do you think King Ahab and Queen Jezebel were happy about that? No, they were mad. They were so mad that Elijah felt like his life was in danger. So he hightailed it away. <laughs> he, 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 you know, because God said, you know, go ahead. But don't be discouraged. I'm going to be with you and I'm going to send you a helper. So God did. So Elijah, he served God for many, many, many years and he, God told him that he was going to come to heaven with him. So Elijah, hmm, who's God going to send for my helper? Well, he would walk around and he found Elisha. Oh my goodness. Elijah and Elisha. I always got them mixed up when I was younger. Um, so if you get them mixed up, I understand totally because you have to think. Elijah, Elisha. So I don't know what, maybe Elisha will think sand on the ground. Elijah, Jesus, up above. How's that? That's how we'll try and figure that out. Um, so <clears throat> Elijah and Elisha were walking and, and Elisha was learning from Elijah at, about what it meant to be a good prophet for God and to listen to God. And so he would go with Elisha and, and learn. And Elijah knew that his time on this earth wasn't very much longer, that God was going to take him up to heaven. So they walked and they went to the sons of the prophets and visited them along their way. Boy, that seems kind of funny, doesn't it? But the sons of the prophets, what that really meant was they were like students, maybe like seminary students, um, which are people that are learning to more about God to maybe be pastors or deaconess or to, to be school Lutheran school teachers. They are studying more about God. And that's what that, what these, um, sons of the prophets were. They were students of learning about God. So Elisha 
no, Lysha, yes, on the ground, <laughs> walked many miles with Elijah, and uh, this was his last journey. So I just pulled these out. We've used these before, but let's say this is Elijah, and this is Elisha. So they would walk, they went from Bethel to Jericho. That was about 12 miles. Have you walked 12 miles? Well, they did because they didn't have horses uh, that they had. I mean, there were horses around that people did ride, but they were walkers because they didn't have any. So they would walk. And then from Jericho, they traveled beyond the, the Jordan River. But when Elijah and Elisha got to the river, how are they going to cross? There's no bridges. So this is kind of interesting. So Elijah took off his coat and he rolled it and then he hit the water with his coat and rolled it. And when it hit the water hit with his coat, this is kind of like a Moses moment. The water separated and there was dry ground so they could walk right over the Jordan River, because it, it was dry. God is so amazing of how he does this, doesn't he? So they crossed it, and then the waters closed behind them. Then Elijah told Elisha, soon God will take me to live with him in heaven. And that, I don't know what it looks like, but I want to go. So, um, but Elisha, what would you like from me before I go? And Elisha, he thought about it and he said, Elijah, I would love to have double the portion of spirit that you have, that God gave you. I would like to have double. And so... So I can be a great leader like you. Because you're going to be gone and I need to take your place and you are a great leader. I want to be like you. So Elijah said, if you see me as God takes me away to heaven, it will happen. So now this is the interesting part. Let's see if I can get this to work, okay? It says, suddenly there was sh chariots. This is my chariot. Here's my fire. Chariots of fire pulled by a horse uh, of fire that came down from the sky in a whirlwind and it picked up Elijah. Woo! And it took him up to heaven. Woo! And his coat... Elijah's coat fell from the ground or from, from the sky and came to the ground. And so Elisha picked up the coat and he walked back to the Jordan River. Still no bridges. So what he did was he did exactly what Elijah had done. He rolled up his coat and he hit the water. And what do you think happened? It parted just like Elijah did. Elisha had that power. And he went across the dry river and it water came back into the river after that. So God had taken Elijah up to heaven. And someday Elisha would go up to heaven and see him too. But Elisha... <laughs> is gonna is going to do it the traditional way. He's gonna die and then he's gonna go up to heaven. But not Elijah. He got to go up in a chariot of fire. Wow. That had to have been quite the sight. I have never seen anything like that. I bet you you haven't seen anything like that either, have you? So so tonight today. God gives us leaders, just like Elijah and Elisha were leaders of God. Who do you think those leaders are? 
Well, God gives us leaders like pastors and Sunday school teachers and there's a special name like deaconesses and vicars. I mean, it, there's all kinds of people that study God's word and then share it with you. I bet you her mom and dad sometimes tell you about God too. And they are special helpers from God also. So, oh, guess what? I just thought of something. You, you can be God's special helper too. Yes, you can. You can tell your friends about Jesus and then you are a special helper too. Wow. Well, um, our Bible verse for today is obey your leaders for they are keeping watch over your souls. And that is from Hebrews 13, 17. So let's pray for our leaders. Okay. And, uh, thanks for, uh, coming to Sunday school today. Uh, dear Jesus, thank you for our pastors and for all of those who teach us about you. Thank you for saving us from sin and giving us a home in heaven. And we know that we will get there one day to be with you. And we are looking so forward to it. Help us to share your love and tell others about you too. Amen.